Hello, hello chaps, it's Peter Bogan back, and today, uh, we're gonna be doing another reaction, Reactions Episode 3, this time on, titled, Dumbass Warning, Microsoft Sam Reed's Wacky Windows Zero Season 24 Episode 2. Now, this isn't really new, this came out roughly a month ago, June 12th, and we're, I mean, the title of recording's, uh, June 29th, but, Uh, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so this was roughly made uh, a month ago by the time this thing gets uploaded. So, um, yeah, uh, no, what, what else can I say other than let's just enjoy? So. Oh, wow. Well. Set this on relatively good quality. Uh, eh, good enough. Tip of the day. New video. Oh, Maybe new not software that. Where is always an option to. Tip of the day. New video editing software is always an option to spice up videos. Oh, so that's why these videos are not being edited in Final Cut Pro. How surprising, not. Yeah, um, this is probably one of the first text-to-speech videos um, of our time that's edited in a software not not used in a video editing software not uh, made specifically for Windows. The creator switched to a Mac this month, in June. I uh, kept telling them constantly, over and over again, mate, you gotta switch. You, you can't just keep playing with an old, cracked down, all-in-one computer. And so, he followed my advice. Good on ya. <laughs> Also, disclaimer: This does have some, this does have some ba some swearing some swearing in it. So, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, yeah, I mean, you should have known because the title the title of the video, dumbass warning. You have stumbled upon a feature of Windows that is currently not available in your country. The following countries are able to access this feature, Antarctica. But first, who would even use a computer in a fucking pile of snow like Antarctica? Maybe some fucking archaeologists would, but... That's completely beside the point. But Canada is like Antarctica. It's always snowing, it's always cold. The only thing they're lacking are penguins. They've got polar bears, but not penguins. Second, when the hell did Microsoft start becoming strict with certain features of Windows? Next thing you know, they'll be coming out with a premium version that allows you to use the computer for a certain amount of days. Don't jinx it! Don't it. jinx it! Oh wait, that exists already. Oh wait. Shit. Your order of a diarrhea dump dinner from Anus Kitchen has been delivered. Total price, $999,999. What the fuck? I have to pay that fucking much just to eat shit? I tell you what, throw this goddamn expensive ass service out the window. No way am I ever ordering from this shitty place ever again. Windows has detected that the current user is known to be a taco hog. As a result, your license for this operating system has been revoked. Please stop being a taco hog to get a new license. What the fuck I ought to throw this piece of shit out the window I am not a fucking taco hog gr An error has occurred. Nothing too special. Give the program a fresh restart. Windows has forced this error to pop up on your screen. You damn right it forced this to pop up. How dare you interrupt my piece with an error like this. If I see one more error like this I'm gonna take serious action by throwing this piece of shit into my diarrhea infested toilet. You hear me? Don't pull any shit like that again, ever. Sorry, we are having trouble shipping more errors to your computer. While we try and figure out the problem, go read some error requests. That error requests are actually good because it's it's actually it's they save they save your time by not f being frustrated, but it saves your time by not being frustrated all the time. That's the problem I had because I try to get all my fans to request errors from now and then, and 
well, my audience, which is you lot, request errors from now and then, and you wouldn't oblige. That's sort of a reason why I actually quit text-to-speech as well, because I wasn't getting any support. That's what happens when I get pushed beyond the limit. Glad, glad. Of course I gotta read those error requests. It's been the same thing for, what, eight years? Just yeah. give me those damn requests already and let's get them over with, for fuck's sake. So you powered on Windows 11. We need all your details. Oh, for fuck's sake, why has Microsoft become rebellious on me all of a sudden? I swear it wasn't like this before. Was but it. if they even think about stealing, yeah, I'm gonna sue them so hard they couldn't even find the right lawyers for the job. Oh, never mind. Give me the next error already. Your copy of Windows Whistler is invalid. Error 302, payment required. Yep, this version of Whistler got acquired by EA. But how? I don't think Microsoft and EA have anything in com- Oh, wait, I do. Um, but still, I wouldn't think that Microsoft would give e uh, Electronic Arts one of the, one of the betas of, of one of their ancient operating systems. Come on, they can't be that mad, right? Right? So, now Microsoft is selling out to a company whose only focus is making money. You know what? Screw this. I'd rather use Windows 3.1 than make any expensive payments. You are an idiot! <laughs> Shut the fuck, 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 fuck up, you bastards. I am not an idiot. I never was an idiot. And I especially will never be an idiot. Get that through your fucking brains, you shitty cunts. It's time to hear the guitar in the array and G major. There's no escape. What the fuck not the torture tests again, bro? You have to install 9,876,543,210 updates. Estimated time, 84,859,394,000 hours. Wait, 84 million, 84 billion, no, million hours. Wouldn't that be like a year in the future? If not two years? Maybe three? Hmm. That's a really long time. Continue. What the fuck? What the fuck the fuck? God damn it. Stop wasting my goddamn motherfucking time, you stupid computer that always has to pull out these damn updates. See, this is why I fucking hate computers that have to update 99% of the time. Mm. Your headphones won't save you. Also, the National Weather Service has issued a dumbass warning for Microsoft's M. AIS. You. Fucking. Kidding me. <laughs> Your computer has been powered. Only from the mind of Minota. Yep, no comment. A torture test will play with me if the OST place is playing. Oh wait, not again. Internet Explorer may have died, but Internet Exquitcher didn't. Of fucking course it didn't. That piece of shit never ceases making my processor crash and glitch to fucking death. I think I know where this is going. It's time to feel the wrath of Internet Exquitcher. R.I.P. IRS. Oh well. Good episode. Rather short, but... I mean, this guy's in college, so... I... Eh. It wasn't a bad episode, I give it an... I give it a 7 out of 10. Just my own personal opinion. I mean, you lot have your own, so... Anyway. It's rather short, but... Eh. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you lot in the next video. Take it easy.